Have you ever gone home, like for the holidays, or you, you get a call from your parents or your siblings or some friends and have something that's kind of like this hateful or they can be pessimist or they could be someone who could try to bring your vibe down, right? Or you could just be driving and people are upset, beeping the horn at you, or just getting around low energy or negative people. I'm going to teach you a nice little way of how you could deal with that. You see, when these people or your parents or your friends and your family members react like that, instead of you reacting to that after they acted, what I want you to start doing is to start dissecting them. What I mean by dissecting them is think about why are they the way they are? For an example, what you'll start learning is, is that a lot of the reason why your mother's complaining all the time or always has something smart to say to you because she's still stuck in a child archetype. She's someone who's not taking personal responsibility for her own life and pointing the finger and becoming a victim. The reason why your father always has something smart to say is because your father isn't doing the things that you're heading or you're dreaming to do because his father told him he couldn't and stopped him from dreaming big. So now he wants to kill your dreams. Your friends have something hateful to say, like when you want to start a diet, for an example, and they say, oh, you're on a diet now? Oh, you can't drink now? As soon as they start passing this type of judgment to you, the reason why they're reacting that way is because they're projecting their shadow because they know they should be doing the same. So what I want you to start doing is when people have comments and people have things to try to bring you down, instead of reacting and like, oh, why are you doing that? I want you to stop and just look at them and dissect them. And when you start dissecting them, you have empathy for why they're acting the way they act. And empathy in the, in, the, in the matter of some people you're gonna deal with, like your parents, you, you're not gonna just you know not talk to your parents. Some of you do that, but I don't believe, in my belief, I don't think that's that healthy to do. But what I am saying to you is start dissecting these people. Start dissecting the fact on why they are the way they are. And then you start having empathy. For an example, when you start to learn that your mother's playing out or acting out as a child archetype, what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna to have to treat your mother like a child, respectfully. For an example, when a, when a child steps on your, sh your shoe, you're not gonna say, you stepped on my shoe, and they go, no, I didn't. You're not gonna argue with a child. The child's not taking personal responsibility. You're not gonna argue with the child. What you're gonna do is say, oh, it's okay. I get it, he's a child. You gotta start looking at your parents sometimes like that, or some of your friends and your family members like that. When your father's overreacting because you're doing the things you wanna do, or your uncle or your cousin, whoever, your sister, is doing things that they wish they want to do, but they'll never tell you, you can't overreact in the way of, oh, you're hating on me, you're not supporting me. You gotta look at it, it's like, inside when you digest and say, oh, I get it. You're, there's a part of you that really wish that you can do the same, but you didn't. But guess what? When you start to become these things, you start to become the silent teacher. When you start to become the silent teacher, you start showing people that it's possible. And you stop judging them, and then eventually they come up to you with love and support. Peace.